Mm. Oh, what up, gang? It's Vipper here. And after I finish my delicious banana smoothie, we are gonna go gym. Not yet sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we will figure it out together. Probably some muscle ups and all sorts of calisthenics and crazy stuff, so stay tuned for that. And maybe get some tips or tricks or motivation, inspiration for you guys. And leave your comments, questions down below. I, I will gladly help you with anything. And also if you got some criticisms, because I'm 100% sure nothing is perfect in my form. So if you got any advices or tips for me, leave them below. And hashtag get hyped. Let's move our body. I'm pretty excited about my training like usual, doing what I love. So, 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 I'm gonna drink this fast, so we can go to the gym and start working out. Yo, yo, welcome to the best commentary track for this awesome workout routine. And we begin with the warm up, the most important part of your exercise, I think. The more you warm up, the less likely you will be getting injured spinal wa waves for the win. And I like to do all sorts of stuff in my warm-ups and make it really fun. I really enjoy my warm-ups, getting in that zone for the actual warm-up. Some kicks, some boxing here and yeah, just rolling all my joints. And yeah, here is some b-boy action, dance action. I really like dancing, I really like b-boying, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I like, I have no, absolutely no clue about technique or anything like that. So if there's any dancers or b-boys, give me some tips, <laughs> because this is pretty embarrassing. And more dancing, but I, I, like I said, I like to make it fun and I really like dancing, so I'm doing it. I don't give a shit and some wrist, wrist stuff and yeah just roll all your all your joints like I said hips, spine, spinal waves, shoulders, elbows, knees and all your muscles that especially you are using in that workout and I like to do a lot of mobility stuff in my in my warm-up to keep my body feeling good because your body needs that moving and here is some deep squat, really good position for your hips and knees and angles, ankles. There's some kicking. I do a lot of kicking, but I'm not very good at it because my hips are very tight, so my kicks don't look the best. But I, I try to be as powerful as I can and as technical as I can, but my hips are really bugging me. Here's some round kick and hook kick. They could look much better if I had the better flexibility. But I'm working on it, I'm working on it. And here's some karate kick, hop step, front kicks, front kicks. And if anybody watches UFC, uh, you just could see the Alistair Overeem, the Uberim, knock out Andre Arlovski with that kick. So you can actually use this in the fight if you know how to do it. I don't, I would get my ass kicked. And here are some cartwheels. And cartwheels are awesome if you wanna learn acrobatics. Really easy move to learn and easy move to do for beginners, but, <laughs> but I almost fell there. But here are some tornado kicks. Tornado kicks, one of the basic, basic kick tricks we do in tricking, I like and good a good camera angle bro you can't even see the whole kick but it those were okay those were okay and the first muscle ups here we go can the man get the first muscle up and no and the second one Ooh, hashtag struggle up so yeah the first muscle ups are always the hardest for me it's not in my muscle memory yet and when I get the first ones going, I, they start to feel a lot of better. And here is the second set. 
let's see how it goes and oh lot of, lot, a lot better a lot better much better form much more explosive overall just those are pretty good muscle ups and I, I have been getting muscle ups every single session now they feel pretty easy but the first ones are always like the hardest hardest ones but when I get the first one and get going and here is Olympic ring muscle up Ooh, that was actually pretty nice but I wasn't really feeling Olympic ring oh don't get the second one no no but as well as I was saying don't, didn't feel really feel good with my Olympic ring muscle ups my false grip weren't there like you could see the second one I was trying after the first my false grip was so shitty that I just couldn't do it the false grip is my biggest enemy in the Olympic ring muscle ups so I got to really work on that it's really important and let's see one more muscle up here these are pretty decent but I like I said I didn't have the power to do these today I, they, they look all, all, all right all right but not the best ones I have done but I, I have been getting them pretty much every time too so I'm, I'm making some progress and here is some jungle Darzan parkour action I'm just doing this for the fans for the shit and giggles and yeah this is really good for beginners to just do as much as you feel comfortable doing and it's just fun exercise good for your back and shoulders and grip and here is some skin the cat action it'll speed it up so I'm not actually going that fast uh, what was that and here is some upside down upside down uh, what what I'm saying upside down action trying to work on the, those front levers but no not getting them anytime soon they are really hard move but skin the cat good move for good move for beginners do good for your shoulders and then we move on to these I don't know what these green green things are called but I'm getting better at them like I I I can I am much more comfortable in this position than I was in a few weeks ago but I, I, I'm still not the perfect form I should be more upright still but I fear that I I will fall over so I'm kind of pussy here and not not really going like over my head or not really in the real handstand and this this one this one is really really good exercise in my opinion use fit bars they are really good for your stabilizers and stabilizers your muscle stabilizers help with everything everything and this is awesome for your glutes it really hit the glutes and your core and your quads and your hips all like this is really good exercise I really like this I highly succeeded and this is first time trying first time trying standing <laughs> and you could see I'm really <laughs> I'm shaking I'm shaking there not really feeling comfortable but this is first time trying this just for you guys and I got hang of it pretty quickly and this really hit my legs hard like this re this really feels in the glutes and the quads and really good exercise I'm be I will be doing a lot of more of that in the future and this one headstand and then legs to the ground and back up really good core workout and at the same time you have to keep your balance and don't get cocky or showing off like I did there. so we hope again so you have to keep in mind your balance and actually then the move itself so there's like strength and balance work and these headstands and handstands they are my weakest weakest point I think because I don't you have to really work on that balance and then I got a little bit cocky again here and Ooh, hit the ground bitch don't get cocky when you do headstands focus on the move don't try to show off like I did there you're gonna eat the dirt and this is so this is 
just like leg raises. Pretty much, pretty much same exercise as the headstand stuff, but not as hard or not the same exercise, but works your core and then some monkey action in the end. And I had, had to do some tricking flash kick and some gay stance. I don't know what was I doing and pop 360 rest crescent kick and crescent hooper. Nice, nice. And pop 360 crescent and some hop step and round and backside nine. Not really that good. And backflip. Nice backflip, dude. Do a backflip. Uh, oh, don't watch this. This is horrible. Ooh, that was really shitty. Who kick 540. And here is Ariel, which is basically cartwheel without hands. And I'm adding some flavor to it, to the lazy boy. I'm done. That was pretty good workout. Leave all of your comments and criticisms down below. Drop a like or dislike. Whatever you feel like it. On a side note here, to all of my Finnish viewers, or if you are not Finnish but you are in Finland this weekend, come to the Beckfest Tambre. It is this weekend, it is the biggest vegan festival in Finland. I'm pretty damn sure, don't take my word for it. But I'm pretty sure. And yeah, lots of cool vegan stuff going on there. Like lots of presentations and products and good food you can buy. And you can meet awesome vegan people there, like myself. Come say hi. And yeah, that's it. Come to the Fake Fest this weekend. It's gonna be fun, I think. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to see a lot of vegan people or people that are interested about plant-based diet or veganism in general. Yeah, 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 that's it for the video. See you on the next video. It has been awesome. Go work out yourself now. Do it.